the Russian Revolution was one of the most significant events of the 20th century. Through the revolution, Russia's involvement in World War I was ended, its government was completely overhauled, and a new political and economic system was introduced that had never been seen at any other point in world history, and a brutal dictator came to power who would kill roughly 40 million of his own citizens in a quest to make Russia the most powerful nation in the world. The Russian Revolution was actually two separate revolutions that occurred throughout the year 1917. The first part of the revolution is known as the March Revolution. It occurred between late February and early March of 1917 and removed the Tsar who had been ruling Russia for most of the early 1900s. Once Tsar Nicholas was removed, a temporary or provisional government made up of members of the Russian Duma, or legislative body, was put in control of Russia and given the authority to make all decisions related to the country and its involvement in World War I. Due to unsatisfaction and unhappiness with the provisional government, a second revolution occurred in November of 1917. This revolution, which was led by Vladimir Lenin, and other members of the Bolshevik party, removed the provisional government and put the Bolsheviks in charge of Russia, allowing them to transition the country to the economic and political philosophy known as communism. The March 1917 revolution was largely a result of the unsatisfaction of the Russian people with the events of World War I. Due to a lack of technology, and advanced weaponry, Russia suffered massive casualties from 1914 to 1917 while fighting World War I. Over 1.7 million of its soldiers were killed, and an additional 5 million soldiers were wounded. In addition to the massive war casualties, the Russians did not trust Tsar Nicholas II or his advisors. The economic conditions in Russia were very poor, and many people were complaining due to lack of food and lack of available land in order to live. Nicholas would use secret police to intimidate and arrest citizens who were critical of him, and this led to the Russian people thinking that Nicholas and his wife, Tsarina Alexandra, were corrupt. They believed that they were only looking out for their interests and were sacrificing the Russian people in order to meet their needs. One final factor that helped lead to the distrust of Nicholas and his wife was the fact that Tsarina Alexandra was of German heritage, and many people blamed her for the losses in World War I, even going as far as claiming that she was a spy for the Germans and was secretly trying to help them win the war. One of the biggest reasons that the people did not trust Nicholas and Alexandra was due to the influence of one of their most significant advisors, a man named Grigory Rasputin. Rasputin was a self-proclaimed healer and holy man who was serving as a doctor for the Tsar and Tsarina's children. One of their children had a condition called hemophilia, which is a blood clotting disorder, which made it very dangerous for the child to be injured. Rasputin was able to treat the hemophilia and gained the confidence of Tsarina Alexandra. Rasputin was very distrusted by the Russian people. There were all kinds of myths and stories and urban legends about him having secret powers and being some sort of witch. Uh, and <clears throat> ultimately, the people saw him as being too influential over the king and queen. Rasputin was eventually murdered by a group of Russian nobles, but it was not enough to convince the people to trust Tsar Nicholas and Tsarina Alexandra with the Russian war losses from World War I. <clears throat> Once the March Revolution was over, Nicholas abdicated the Russian throne and stepped down from power, and eventually, in July of 1917, both he and his wife, along with their children, were executed by members of the provisional government and the Bolsheviks. 
once Nicholas was out of power, the provisional government or Duma took over control of Russia. This was seen as a positive step because one of the first actions of the Duma was to develop a constitution and outline the basic rights of citizens, which is something people in Russia were, had, were fighting for and had disliked about Nicholas. While they took this important positive step, the provisional government also chose to continue Russia's involvement in World War I due to the fact that they saw it as a sense of pride if they were able to win the war. When the war continued to go poorly for Russia and more citizens died, the outrage with the provisional government grew, eventually leading to the November Revolution. By 1917, the people of Russia were thoroughly dissatisfied with both their government and the situation in World War I, and they turned to the voice of a group known as the Bolshevik Party. The 1917 revolution is also known as the Bolshevik Revolution because it was led by this group. Specifically, the Bolsheviks were led by two men. The first was Vladimir Lenin, who would become the new leader of Russia after the revolution. And the second was one of his assistants, a man named Leon Trotsky. Trotsky had been responsible for developing and spreading propaganda about the Tsar and provisional government and was very influential in convincing the citizens to trust and follow the Bolsheviks. These two, along with other members of the Bolshevik party, such as Joseph Stalin and Alexander Kerensky, would lead the movement to ultimately overthrow the provisional government and make Russia a communist country at the end of the November 7, 1917 revolution. By the end of November 1917, the Russian Revolution had had its most significant impact. The Bolsheviks, along with Lenin and Trotsky, had overthrown the provisional government and named Lenin as the new leader of the Russian nation. Lenin, in response to the people, signed the Treaty of Brest-Litovsk, which ended Russia's involvement in World War I in early 1918. This made Lenin look like a hero to many of the Russian people, even though Russia gave up a huge chunk of land in order to get out of the war. Lenin had gotten done what the people were asking the government to do and gained a lot of popularity as a result of the signing of the treaty and the ending of Russia's involvement in World War I. Lenin would continue to rule Russia for the next four years from 1918 until 1922. During this period, Russia underwent a civil war where people who were still loyal to the Tsar and to the provisional government attempted to prevent the Bolsheviks from fully taking over the country. However, by the end of 1922, the Russian civil war was over, the Bolsheviks and the Red Army had won the war, and Lenin had served as the leader until 1922 when he suffered the first of a series of strokes that would ultimately kill him. From 1922 to 1924, while Lenin was recovering from his strokes, the members of the Communist Party, or the Bolshevik Party, ruled the country. During this time, Joseph Stalin worked behind the scenes to slowly gain more and more power within the government, and when Lenin finally died in 1924, Stalin became his successor and would lead Russia for the next 30 years up through the late 1950s. During this time, Stalin would be a brutal dictator and he would rule Russia as a communist country where all of the country's land, goods, and resources were controlled by the Russian government. There was no private citizens being able to run businesses all businesses were run by the government and with the government's ruling and permission. You'll be examining the system of communism and Stalin's actions in next week's assignments as we finish looking at the Russian Revolution and its impact on Europe. Ultimately, Stalin took a number of actions that would increase the power of the Soviet Union, making it a much more significant and more powerful country in the world, 
but that would come at the severe cost of roughly 40 million Russian citizens who would be killed either through Stalin's actions, by his orders, or by being worked to death in an effort to build up the Soviet Union into a superpower.